Hello, citizens, heroes, and villains out there. Welcome to Sean Humberg's Creative Corner. I'm Sean Humberg. Today, we are going to be building another transformable piece of furniture. If you didn't already see, check out my three-in-one table that could turn from a coffee table into a dining table. Today, we're going to be building a piece of wall art that could turn into a usable desk. Without further ado, here we go. Let's take a look at what we're gonna be using for this project. One of the best parts of this project is that it is not very complicated and you don't need a whole lot of stuff to do it. What we're gonna need are three pieces of wood. I'm using MDF. This one is 28 by 40. This one is 24 by 35 and three quarter. And this one is 24 by 36. Another thing that you might wanna do, but not necessary, is to get a 24 by 36 poster to put on your outside piece, and that's what we're gonna be doing today. You will also need two hinges. What I decided to do was buy a 48 inch hinge and then cut it down to 24 inches with this hacksaw. You will need a drill and something to paint it with. What I'm gonna be using today is chalkboard paint. That way my desk can also double as a chalkboard when I want to do artwork or anything on it. I can write right on the desk or right on the part that's attached to the wall. So that's what you're gonna need. Let's go ahead and get started by cutting and attaching our hinges. The idea is to have this front piece the same size as our poster and the back piece to look like a frame around the poster. So we want this front piece to have a two inch border all the way around. Now the middle piece is where it gets a little bit tricky. So let's take a look. We want this middle piece to be sunk in the same depth as one of these boards. That's why this one is three quarter of an inch shorter than this one. You'll see why later on. We're gonna go ahead and draw out our two inch border so that we can position our other board. Okay, so now we have our border drawn out. And we want this board to be exactly three quarters of an inch away from this one. So let's take a look. Perfect. Now we're gonna attach our hinge right here along the bottom. Okay, so now you see we have our first hinge attached that will keep this in place. One down. The next hinge that we're gonna put on, I do suggest going and standing up the piece you had before and setting your front piece next to it so that you have this gap right here. So our next hinge is gonna go right here. Go ahead and attach it to this board first so that you can adjust and make sure that you have your three quarter of an inch gap on this one. Now that that part is attached, we can do some measuring and make sure that we attach this part at the correct three quarter inch amount. Once you have at least three of these put in, it'll hold its own weight. You don't have to lean it over anymore. Okay, we now have our second hinge. Now let me explain and show you why we did the gap the way that we did. Now if you look right here, when it opens up, they'll stay flush. And that's exactly what we... Now we have the actual desk built. I'm gonna go ahead and start painting and making it look the way that we want to, and then we'll be able to show you how it hangs on the wall and how this functions. A few moments later. Okay, so we have all of our pieces painted. This front piece I did not paint entirely because it's gonna be covered up by our poster. So everything that we'll be showing has been painted. We're gonna go ahead and apply our sticker. Okay, so the studs in our wall are 16 inches apart, which means that I want to measure in six inches from both sides 
so I know exactly where we want to put our screws. Now I'm going to drill my pilot holes with a 7 16 inch paddle bit. <clears throat> so doing that makes sure that we not only mess up the MDF while we're screwing into it, but I also drill a little bit farther. That way when we do screw it in, we have a flush edge right here so none of the screw is popping up to prevent this from sitting flush with this. Okay, and here I'm going to go ahead and make sure that I have my level because I do want to make sure that when I mount it up to the wall that this part is going to be level. You want your shelf level or not? Okay, so for this process, we're going to be using help. This is my brother, Brian Humberg. Thank you, Brian, for coming to the creative corner. You're welcome. We're going to go ahead and lift this up. You don't want to do this by yourself. This is a pretty heavy object. It's not worth getting anybody hurt. Remember, safety should always be your number one priority. Let's check our level. Perfectly level. Oh, it's so, oh, 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 oh my God. So when our poster's actually hanging up on the wall, we want to make sure we have a way to keep this part up. Otherwise, when we let it go, it's just going to fall. So what I've done is put a couple of eye hooks right here. And what that allows us to do by leaving holes right here is to simply push a nail. And what that does is hold it up. Now let's see the finished product in action. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed learning how to make a piece of wall art that also works as a desk. Please make sure to like, subscribe, comment in the comment section down below what you'd like to see in future videos. Can't wait to see what we build together next. Sean Humberg, signing out.